Yeah, good evening YouTube. So I'm making some progress on finishing up some of the odds and ends with the tankless water heater install. So I finally got my 3 inch PVC elbow. I'm using 3 inch PVC pipe for both the exhaust vent and this is for the intake vent. And originally I was thinking I might go up through the roof of the garage. That just seems like a lot of extra work and I don't think it really buys me anything and uh, so what I did was I just cut a about an 18 18 and a half inch length of three inch pipe put the elbow on the end and then this is the supplied screen that comes with the uh, water heater they call it a bird screen but it's set up to fit inside of a three inch PVC fitting of some sort either a coupling or in this case an elbow so I'm going to shove this into the intake vent and then have this elbow basically right up under the ceiling of the garage so that way it'll be kind of up and in the cleanest air possible so any dust that's down at ground level won't get sucked in and had a really hard time getting these three inch PVC fittings I got this from Home Depot but I had to actually order it online they don't stock that in any of the local stores and in fact the 3 inch PVC pipe I had to get at Lowe's. Home Depot doesn't even stock this material. Lowe's has the material but they don't have the fittings. They have up to 2 inch PVC. You can get all the 2 inch PVC you want but above 2 inch it's very hard to find. There's lots of 3 and 4 inch ABS which is your drain waste and vent pipe but the PVC is mainly for water and I guess there's not much uh, call for three inch and larger water pipe but yeah that's your your heavy heavy wall PVC pipe there. So the funny thing is I got I think Home Depot had these for like oh three dollars and a quarter with free shipping and it came in a box all by itself so they must have spent at least three dollars on shipping. I mean you you can't ship a UPS box uh, across the country for less than three dollars. I mean that's that's crazy. You have to order it and they must be losing money but I guess they figure it's better to have it online rather than stock this rarely purchased stuff. So that's one thing to consider if you're using 3 inch PVC venting for a tankless water heater install. Finding these fittings can be a little bit tricky. I had to order the, the 22 and a half degree elbows that I used online as well. And you really need to shop around because you can, you can find these if you want to pay $10, $12 a, an elbow. But if you want to get them for a reasonable price, you're going to have to wait. So anyway, that is my intake, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, and there I have the uh, intake vent up there. So I come up right short of the garage ceiling. figure that's got to be the least dusty air, and that way kind of keep it keep it there so I can check you know make sure spiders don't build a big spider web over there I can get up there and access it fairly easily yeah if I have to every couple of years take this down and uh, get out the air compressor and blow it out and then the one thing I also did I don't know if it will vibrate or not under use but what I did up there is I put a piece of uh, weather stripping foam on the PVC because it gets pretty close to that uh, roof rafter there. If it does vibrate, it won't make any noise. And if it vibrates bad, I don't think it will. But if it does, I can always get a strap and strap the uh, elbow to that rafter. But uh, I'll leave it like that for now. And then let's take a look here at the condensate drain. 